So clearly, people were doing something silly in um, how they were putting those materials together. Um, and so just by eliminating those, those sort of foolish things, we were able to make a rocket for, for much less. Elon Musk's genius got him to make spacecrafts at 1% to 2% of what rockets usually cost. That's saving a whole lot of money. He shared that it was just about putting the materials together efficiently, which raised many questions about the billions of dollars spent by NASA on spacecrafts over the years. Even without a fully and rapidly reusable rocket, you've still managed to reduce the cost to orbit by an order of uh, magnitude or more just with more incremental improvements. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, Firstly, at what point did you realize that such an opportunity existed in the space field? When, when I started SpaceX, it was actually, uh, I thought the most likely outcome was that we would fail. Space is complex and expensive to explore, be it for research, material, development, or overhead. Enormous space projects involve massive funds and too many moving parts and people, making them susceptible to corruption. Not all have the right scientific or bureaucratic know-how, so embezzlement, overspending, bribery, and other crimes are easy to miss. But what gave me a clue that we could make a significant breakthrough was looking at the, uh, the, the cost of a rocket. And instead of looking at it um, with reference to what other rockets had cost in the past, I said, OK, well, what is a rocket made of? What are the material constituents? And if you had a pile of those materials ar arrayed before you and you could wave a magic wand, what would that rocket cost to build? Um, and that is a remarkably small number. Um, you know, it was maybe a few percent or one or two percent of what rockets actually cost. So clearly people were doing something silly in um, how they were putting those materials together. Um, and so just by eliminating those, those sort of foolish things, we were able to make a rocket for, for much less. For example, NASA's Office of the Inspector General, OIG, even raised numerous concerns about NASA's procurement system, leading to faulty materials that cost failures worth millions, one being the failed launch of Taurus XL. That's what made spacecrafts expensive before SpaceX. They also included the cost of corruption, failures, and faults. NASA is improving its systems, but they have a long way to go in making the race to space cheaper and, well, ensuring that it has a little more integrity. Well, what do you think? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Kinda Viral for more interesting videos just like this one.